Hi everyone, Schoolhouse Intuitive Tarot. I'm here to do a Libra weekly reading. This is for around July 8th to the 14th, but you know, these are also kind of timeless as well. Let's see what we get for Libra, all placements. General reading, not personal, only take what resonates and check out the disclaimer. Oh, Libra. You have the healing heart, divine presence, as well as the family tree. So expansion, legacy, this is about accepting you know, any sort of acceptance going on here. There's something here about, um, you know, life force energy here. Some of you could be connected to Reiki. This is a healing arts kind of energy. We're going to split this up. You can see as, as a, uh, like overall happiness, success, career wealth, and then we'll do love. Um, there's something here about almost like uh, there's this like calm confidence happening here. And there's something here I feel as though you may need to troubleshoot something, Libra, and you may want to almost get this sort of like this desire to do so in the most calm way. Like that may be actually a, a big focus for you right now is like really kind of keeping communication clear and the waters calm, so to speak. Let's see what else we have, though, for Libra. Messages for your greatest, highest good. We'll move into tarot. You'll see me using a couple of different new decks today or a few different ones. They're always in the description box. Dark woman and grasshopper. Okay, so this is about making progress here, Libra, this grasshopper. This is uh, being good at uh, adapting to things. Again, I really get something here about a resolution, you know, wanting to really kind of keep things sort of calm as you navigate through uh, something, maybe a, a problem of some kind. But there is something here about your money and your prosperity. So you could be acquiring something as well, money-wise, prosperity-wise. You could have dealings, financial dealings or dealings otherwise with a dark woman, um, dark hair, dark complexion, something along those lines, or you could feel the energy is kind of dark. So this is about, um, it's, it's about seeking companionship as well. This could also be facing your inner fears. You know, there may even not be something that's being said or or being looked at, there could also be something. I just heard hermit mode, something maybe making you want to stay in hermit mode, or you could be dealing with sort of Virgo energy here. Um, hmm. I'm getting a lot of shifting. There's just some shifting that's happening to Libra. Let's see. You have um, mouse, persistence, as well as the moon. Now, I was getting moon energy here with this dark woman. Um, remember, this is just an archetype. All right. So um, with the moon, this is, can certainly be uh, some good news here with the moon and the mouse together. It can also be uh, just reminding you kind of, you know, be kind of, you know, if you need to scrutinize details and go over every little detail, that's what the mouse is there for. OK, this is about, uh, you know, domestic concerns that could come up and really sort of going over each, each um, detail and really kind of just hanging in there. Um, there's something here about public recognition coming in with both of these cards here, Libra. But I want to see what else we get. I'm getting the name Ashlyn. I'm also getting the name Thompson. All right, so those are coming in for you. I'm going to go into tarot now. And I'm using the pulp tarot. Let's see what we have for Libra. Overall messages. Give me just highest good Libra, please. Now I have 777 here. This is being posted on the 77 portal. All right. And we have the hanged man. Okay. So this is needing to take a little, you know, well, let's just, I feel like you're being patient with a healing process of some kind here, Libra, because you do have that healing heart too. And and grasshopper can have to do with patience as well. As you want to move forward with something, there's almost like this still needing to be patient. Uh, the page of cups. This is good news coming in, particularly if you need to go somewhere, travel or make plans. It's like you're going to get that appointment. You're going to get that, that travel. Um, I'm getting July 12th as a date too for some of you. Major Arcana Justice card. That's our energy there, Libra card 11. So you know, this is, there's such, there's such strength with this card in this, in this deck here, Libra. So you could actually, you could be that dark haired woman, dark woman um, here that is, because now we have that, this justice on top of this dark woman. So this could really be, um, again, you seeking what you want and like conquering and, and being able to navigate the initials T as in, um, Tina, A as an Abby could mean something as well for you, Libra. 
number 11. So we've got 11, we have 12. Nearing a cycle, we're nearing a cycle of completion here. But what else? What is unfolding here? What else do we have unfolding? Um, I just heard it's a matter of respect. So making sure we get in that respect. Eight of Wands, the Emperor. Yeah. So if you were dealing with a controlling energy or some sort of uh, authority figure, this is, you know, this is sort of the uh, father energy, very paternal energy, very authoritative. But, you know, it doesn't have male, female is not the same as, you know, uh, me, you know, um, the energy of masculine and feminine. We all have both. So this can actually, this emperor can certainly be you. Aries energy, a lot of fire coming in. I just feel that there's something, um, there's this, this, this sort of, uh, you know, uh, just a lot of power coming in. All right. And so power may be something you're thinking about. There could be a shift in power. You could be changing positions in some way. Um, you could actually be given more authority in something. You may be reclaiming something. You may actually be moving on with the Six of Swords to an energy uh, where maybe things were in question, but now they're uh, like you're expanding your horizons, so to speak. Look at that, Libra. Ace of Cups coming in on top of that. So there is a reason to celebrate here for sure. Um, getting, I saw the at bottom is Three of Cups. So you have something though about noise control. I don't know if you're in a noisy environment, if you're finding yourself extra sensitive to sounds and noises right now. Um, and also smells for some of you, but there is something here about, you know, needing to sort of, um, control the environment in a certain way here. So going back to this emperor card, this is really like, you know, boss energy, leadership energy, especially with this justice. If you look at these cards together, that's like, and then you have this forward momentum here. This is a lot of, a lot of speed and movement action in this card. This is another very powerful card. This, the chariot, very powerful cards. And you do have this sort of um, transition. Some of you may be transitioning quietly into or out of something, including that's moon card right there. Um, you may have been coming up with a plan to leave or exit something all along. And now you're planning on executing that maybe in the month of July. Hmm, need some water there. So... <clears throat> I'm getting you're not afraid to show your strength now. Maybe before you were kind of holding back. <clears throat> Excuse me. But it is interesting, Libra, because I'm getting strength card with this too. And, and with the strength card, you know, it's sort of that like quiet strength, that inner strength, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Doing something with a lot of self-respect, you know, really honoring yourself, your values, where you stand. Hmm. There's some luck here. For some of you, you you're going to get, you're going to be asked this like call to action. You're going to be asked to do something. As far as, um, it, as far as either go like as far as movement in some kind or of some kind or it's it's um. You may be asked, someone may ask you for your assistance, your expertise. You may actually be asked to um, forward something like forward documentation or forward information to someone or vice versa. You know, energies can always be switched. Like you might be receiving some sort of forward and um, proof of something almost like um, it's almost like you you were allowed to see something that normally you wouldn't be it's sort of like you have this this new maybe uh even acquaintance who's really skilled at like getting the information you need or maybe they have connections or something i just for some of you that is that is coming in there's something here too about being really careful what you say gossip all that kind of thing you want to try to avoid that if you can right of course we can <laughs> um there's you might because like you might get blamed for something that you were around when it was said, but it but you didn't actually say it. So we just want to make sure we're keeping ourselves out of that sort of energy. Oh, now we're doing tea leaves apparently. Mm. We're gonna go into each category as far as like career, wealth, and then love. So I will pull money cards and love cards. You have scales, Libra. Look at this, keeping your life in balance, kangaroo. Could be some unsettled times. Yeah, plan ahead. Again, be very careful with the words the company you keep as well as you know what is being said gong 
Gong. Remember that show, The Gong Show? Some of you may or may not. But then there's there's something about, yes, an exciting event. It could actually, oh, okay, I'm getting like sort of a roller coaster or like amusement park kind of ride. And then you have um, guaranteed success here with the star card. We always get the star card somehow in our readings together, right? Somehow we, we get that star card. So I'm hearing something about a mission being accomplished. Now that could be what's exciting. You may reach a very important milestone this month. Maybe you have your hundredth sale or, or you, you reach your, um, you know, you, you just, you graduate something or you finished something up in June or you will in July, that sort of thing. There's just something going on with that. Um, yeah, I'm getting birthday party for sure. Um, likely it's not yours if you're a Libra son, right? It's not yours if you're a Libra son. <laughs> not likely it isn't, right? Uh, there's something here too about not giving up your power. Kind of like you're going to have eyes on you, Libra, but I don't see you getting distracted. Like nothing's going to keep you from healing, maintaining your balance here, getting exactly what it is you want. I'm so drawn to this major arcana and emperor together. I mean, together, ugh, such leadership energy. And there's something here that tells me, you know, about the truth sort of um, setting you free from a certain situation and like honoring your own. Uh, I, they're I'm getting the word naturalistic. So like things that come naturally to you are things that make you feel whole, grounded, complete, centered you know, tied to the universe, this cup coming in Libra, this can certainly be for love, but it, when love for me, it's not just romance, it's anything you may love, anything that really comes from or speaks to your heart Libra. So there's that heart relationship here, keeping yourself in, uh, holding yourself in high regard. You're getting this boost of energy, some of you after feeling tired for a while. I'm picking up on hips right now. So maybe some of you have, um, Mobility stuff going on in the hips or soreness, that sort of thing. I'm actually getting sort of uh, like a, there's just a lot of energy in the hips right now. So um, it's sort of like it's going to be to your advantage to remain flexible, right? And how many, you know, it's like we're always hearing that, but there's something coming in here because you're flexible, you're going to get a boost. You're going to get it like this um, step up, so to speak. Okay. There's something going on there with that Libra. So, Hmm. that could be what you love. There's, yeah, completion with a celebration. There's certainly transition, things moving fast. This feels very similar to a reading I did for you recently, Libra. I want to see what else we get, though. <clears throat> Let's use some divine guidance cards or divine direction here. What do we have for Libra? Sevens coming through really strong, even seven, 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 seven. Yeah, and 77, yeah. <laughs> Hobbies. So this is a good way to distract yourself, though, if there are things going on. You know, if there are things, if you're waiting on something or if you're healing from something, you know, consider some hobbies or just to add some more fun and balance into your life because it is all about those scales, keeping things in balance here. So this can distract you from whatever's going on, anything you're waiting on, you know, maybe there's some sort of like you're turning a hobby or something into your kind of side business here. We have connection here. Okay. You could feel an energetic connection with someone. I was getting to Libra with the whole hip thing, actually like feeling vibration. I was feeling humming and vibration. So I don't, maybe there's something for you going on where I don't know if you're doing like sound bowl healing or if you're feeling vibrations energy or you feel as though your energy is kind of vibrating lately there is something there but i just i can't really explain exactly what that will be for each of you but also when you hit a gong it vibrates for a very long time so something here it's like that excitement is going to spill over into other areas of your life you could uh sense some sort of energetic connection with someone libra that could be something very exciting right um, there could be some sort of success happening that's really going to leave you at a very high frequency, right? It's going to guide you through um, this. Uh, it's like, it's almost as though you have something good coming in that might even be separate from something 
um, that's been difficult for you? Like there may have been some unsettled times that have really kind of rocked your world, so to speak. You know, an example might be, you know, if you've had sort of a, a health thing come up and you've had to wait on certain appointments and certain like um, just to feel better and get answers. So it doesn't have to be health. It could be anything. And certainly I'm not a doctor, obviously, but um, there's something coming in with that where like then there's this other thing coming in that make sure you're celebrating this thing because that can actually help the healing and the completion maybe of uh, it can like sort of elevate whatever's going on over here, if that makes sense. So it's sort of like you have these two separate things coming in. There is a connection between the two. You know, so maybe you meet this new acquaintance, for example, right? Uh, and, or you, com you come across something you absolutely love doing. That's actually going to help you with this other thing that's going on or that you just came from, right, Libra? So um, being open to uh, the higher vibrational opportunities, being open to um, connections here, because something is coming in. You're being asked to trust. Okay, we've got eight of wands. Something's coming in. You're being asked to trust. You've got the major arcana having to do with truth, right? So, so trust um, the good in your life. Trust the good. Trust the good. And the, there could be this new connection. And you had this recently too, where I said something like a stranger could change your life or something to that effect. That's what's happening here. There's something, and not even it doesn't have to be a person. It can be this new thing, this new. Uh, you know, like uh, acquaintance, uh, treatment, um, this new hobby, this new uh, class you start going to, something that's actually going to help with another area of your life that's been really difficult. Maybe you've struggled with self-esteem for a long time. You pick up a new hobby and you start, or you start, you know, doing a particular exercise, or whatever, and it really helps across all areas of your life. So this like one new thing is going to affect everything now. All right. And that's, that seems, it's feeling like a good energy here. I'm supposed to get this card apparently waves. So this is about your spiritual self. Okay. This is, if you may have had a fear of being judged or rejected Libra, but this is about, um, you know, taking your own power and control back and realizing that you yourself are the only one really that you need to impress. Right. It, what matters most is like how you see yourself anywhere. Right in any particular situation. And then you do have spring and that's that newness. So um, what you're asking for will come um, and, and it's going to, you know, I always think of like robins with this. And I just had the robin during your last reading, I think it was uh, in my bird bath, you know, really kind of wanted that robin was all over that new beginning. They do stand for new beginnings. Um, this is, you know, love and growth Libra. This is just that rebirth sort of energy and rejuvenation. That's what it is. There's a massive rejuvenation coming through for you, something that's going to restore vitality, all right? So this connection is going to boost your vitality, all right? So um, <clears throat> that's a really, you know, and I love seeing this for the 777 portal. Um, it's just because, you know, it's like the difficult things we're going through, um, there's a lesson eventually, I feel. And so I feel as though you're going to see how things kind of all piece together. There's just, I feel as though there is something or someone coming in. So I don't want to say to the rescue, but kind of like whatever this is makes everything um, see a seem a little more manageable, Libra. So um, <clears throat> it's just, uh, it's, it's like a new... Um, I don't want to say, oh, new lease on life. I mean, I feel like that's like an overused title or whatever, but look, Libra, Libra. Okay. This literally just fell into my lap. Um, the worst is behind you. Exciting new experiences are on the horizon. That, that sums up the whole reading, I think, right there. This new dawn, the worst is behind you. I do really finally feel that the worst is behind us. Okay. Um, and, you know, it's obviously in a general reading, it's going to feel different for, for everyone, you know, but what I do feel is that you've been searching for answers. You've been searching for closure. You've been searching for this new beginning. Maybe you've been searching uh, on a way to like put something behind you that's affecting your overall success and happiness. When something's bothering us at a spiritual level or, or you know, really a lot of times physical level too, it can really spill over. And ob obviously emotions too can 
it's like, you know, everything kind of feeds into each other. If you don't feel good emotionally, you feel it in your body, your soul, your spirit, and, you know, and vice versa. If you're feeling something, you know, physically, it can make you feel really out of whack mentally, right? Maybe you're not sleeping and that kind of thing. So um, <clears throat> I'm picking up on something about like sipping a beverage, like sipping tea or something, something maybe you're sipping, maybe you're taking something uh, like a new... Um, drink you're trying um as far as you know i don't know if it's like kombucha or uh something fermented like that or herbs kind of thing i'm getting something i just heard someone uh, say holy water almost like i don't know if you're um using holy water or if you feel if you've nicknamed something your holy water even if it's not actually holy water so there is something there. I almost feel like you feel that you've stumbled upon maybe for some of you, this new, um, like a honey, like a new kind of honey, uh, almost like an elixir, almost there's something here and it doesn't have to be now remember with tarot, a lot of the things that come through are in fact metaphors. So you could have found like, you know what? I love doing this hobby. Uh, I think I found the elixir in life you know my elixir in life is karate or you know whatever it is that you're into libra um you may have feel feel like you found again tying back to another reading i did recently that missing key you know that link that key that's going to help you um kind of feel whole again and feel like you're back on the right track um on the bottom here we have this lovely yellow monarch you may be seeing yellow monarchs actually there have been a lot in my yard during your readings lately, Libra. So this is being willing to let go of what you plan to have in life because there's something else waiting for you. It could be something that you love, like really love, you know? Sometimes that star is like something that we did not even realize we wanted, you know? Or it's like better than you could have even imagined. All right, um, let's see what else we have for Libra. Mm, sun moon rising venus i want to go into some money moves cards here get an overall flavor for the money uh, we have in between so yeah you're almost there i was getting 11 12 when i see 11 12 um you know in my third with my third eye it's it's it is about being very close to finishing something here the sort of like you know getting right about to that world card so you would think you know judgment card you know like um again getting that sort of clarity maybe you've made a final decision awakening that sort of thing um again that rebirth revitalization is really coming through and you ah uh, you know what's funny too is you have this right on top of that six of swords cool that's interesting enough right interesting and then you have wellness uh-huh living a healthier web web uh website <laughs> lifestyle okay <laughs> maybe you're updating your website um but maybe you found a website or an app for wellness that's working for you and that's your you know maybe that's what the elixir was referring to um but it's something that's going to help you overall uh <clears throat> some sort of uh, again restoration right you're being your energy sources are being or your energy um yeah sources being restored maybe all right. Um, there's something here about, yes, changing your environment could be going more towards a home based business. That could be the overall goal, Libra. With that, we want to ask ourselves, what's closing out now? What new cycle are you ready to start? I just said I was getting world card. I flipped the card and here we have the world card. So we have a variety of different energies here. Um, astro, you know, astrological signs. We have Taurus, we have Leo, we have Aquarius and we have Virgo. Uh, but this can really be any sort of energy, you know, any sort of a sign, you know, um, but we certainly have, you know, you have what it takes here. There is something you have. So if you're wondering about a home-based business or, you know, turning a hobby or something into a, an actual career, this world card coming through right then when you're wrapping something else up and on top of this home-based card is a very good indication, Libra. Let me get a card. Okay. <clears throat> Shark laser focus here. Okay. This is also, um, if you're getting like signs of warning or danger, make sure that you're, um, like take that into consideration. If you have a warning light that just came on in your vehicle or something, or you have uh, something doesn't quite sit right, or you get a, like a red flag about somebody, trust it. 
Okay, trust that. That's, trust your own intuition before you trust this reading, before you trust anyone else. If you're getting little signs of danger here, even if things are going great, if there's something not quite sitting right, make sure you're not overlooking it just because this other thing is, is going great or because um, you just want to make sure you're, we're not letting other things go. Okay, that's that's just it. And we're not too focused where we're, where we're missing um, other important things. Like we're not so hung up on something like for in a relationship, you need a relationship or everything's still going so great. You meet somebody wonderful. It could feel really great, but make sure that you're still um, allowing yourself to really get the full truth here. Libra be very discerning here, you know, with um, those red flags, if you are in fact getting any in a new connection or otherwise. Okay. So um, you also have house comfort. So this is, you know, a physical structure being really critical to your emotional well-being, you know, changing that environment. You did have that home-based, you know, change the environment. So this is a state of mind towards like, it's like, you know, towards self-discovery. Again, that change coming in for you, a reason to celebrate here. There's something exciting here. You're going to feel, you may actually, again, you may feel something positive from either a person or within yourself that is or you may have actually even traveled to like this landmark site or something or a very sort of what's considered a very you know spiritual place and you may feel or you may actually feel the ground beneath you or something within you humming like your energy is humming it's so intense in a positive way all right so there's definitely something there about that vibration being felt like you're feeling vibrate vibrations very clearly now libra maybe it's as an empath you're feeling your vibration the vibrations and this is about taking that time to learn again if there's something that doesn't quite seem right get more information okay that's probably a really good um that's because we want we've learned from our lessons right about overlooking red flags okay make sure we're heating warnings even if other things are going great finally right <laughs> All right, so Libra, what else do we have? This is going to be, again, pertaining to sort of job, career, peacemaker. So this, yeah, I had said you may be called upon um, something to that effect. And I was getting like needing to keep the waters calm. Remember at the very beginning, I was getting sort of like, this is the word I'm thinking, I was thinking of, but couldn't remember. <laughs> it's peacemaker, right? You're being asked to be that sort of diplomatic peacemaker for something. This could be about, you know, something to do with, you know, politics, negotiations, bureaucracy, right? There's a lot of that around us. Um, just, you know, approaching situations with sort of a win-win attitude with every, with all of the, um, areas in your life as much as you can like attracts like right um some of you if you have a decision you need to make and you're not quite sure i have reconsider a decision here on the bottom okay uh, what else do we have for libra and oh and i happen to without even thinking i try not to think in these readings as funny as that may sound it's all about the feeling right and so um you know intuitively and so this has to do with either a home situation or a love situation. You could be leaving a love situation or maybe your partner and you are considering moving in or whatever. You may actually be adding a dog, I heard, to you, to you some, you know, or adopting a, some sort of pet. Um, you may be considering that. Um, and it doesn't mean reconsider doesn't mean don't do it. You can also reconsider something you once said no to, right? Now, I have beauty here on the bottom. Some of you may be in the beauty industry. This is about embracing your unique style, though, right? Um, and, and just owning it, letting the world see who you really are, Libra. So you may have a, a position or a side business that you want to turn into your real business in, um, in clothing, uh, hair, jewelry. This is about your inner world needing to match and align with your outer world for things to change. Think of... Um, um, the uh, the lovers card, okay, that to me is like the ultimate card of alignment. You know, this is about you know are things in harmony. You know, feeling that perfect union, being happy with your choices. You know, um, that's definitely one of my big uh, cards of alignment. Um, let's see what else we have, Libra, money manager. So this card could indicate your career finances might take a big leap forward. You have it on top of kangaroo and grasshopper so overall success and happiness libra you really could find yourself jumping out of those unsettling times make sure you're planning ahead right but this is really good as far as um, adapting to something progressing in life um, this is about maybe considering a career in money management in banking accounting anything in finance or 
just maybe needing to hire someone. Okay, so you can expect a happy outcome when it comes to your finances. And I do want to, um, I want to look into, there's something with this, reconsider a decision that I want to look at. I want to look at more in depth. It did fall under the love part. So this can have to do with anything you love or anyone you love. Oh, okay. So we have a Medusa here and we have the wizard. So this is some sort of jealousy. Okay. So if you're feeling someone is, you know, envious or maybe doesn't have your greatest, highest good in mind here, you could be dealing with um, this sort of archetype of the uh, Medusa. Okay. And there's also someone, you know, I'm getting an energy sort of, of like, if you don't agree with this particular person, even male, female, doesn't matter. Um, they may, you may feel as though they're just, they come at you like so strong, like it's like over the top, you know, I don't, you know, so they really, but this is about using your skills. Okay. So you being the wizard here, you being the magician, you being able to manifest the outcome you want that is tying into this sort of, um, if you're not sure if you should, um, you know, take an offer or be with somebody or if they have like a jealous ex or something, you may want to reconsider it. only because that's coming up in the love section. And um, <clears throat> although you have to know that even if you do have this sort of jealousy around you, that's not going to block you from what is meant to be yours because you are in fact that wizard. You have wizard to defeat this Medusa like energy. Okay. So just, just being mindful of that. It can't, it's not going to get in the way of your ace of cups but it could make um, it's things a little more difficult. Um, but again, you're guaranteed success regardless. Um, but this may have been confirmation for you that maybe I picked up on someone or something that's been um, kind of uh, a little tricky to be around. Let's see. Ah, and you have seduction there too. Yeah, so someone could be trying the wrong kind of person for you, energy for you, could be trying to um, reel you in. So just make sure you're planning carefully here, you know, with love. Um, <clears throat> um, just there's something you don't know about them, possibly. You could be picking up on some sort of darkness or something. And uh, just make sure you, you always have an out, right? All right, that's, that's some advice there that just came in for you, Libra. So let's see what else we have. I'd like to um, look into this love a little bit more. Let's see, a little bit of love here. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm using sort of pop art decks today, a few of them anyway. Not all, but a few. Here for love, we have 10 of wands. Ooh, oh, wow. Okay, then. Well, so Libra. And then there's another six of swords. So transition moving on here. What we have here, Libra, is... I get that you're moving away from an energy that was just way too much. This was not a person who matched your queen of pentacles energy. This is not, um, this is only for some of you. Okay. This could have been a very short lived romance could have been a year, right? That's not that long. Actually, in my opinion, a year is not very long, but you know, for some of you, maybe it is, it could have just been a few months. It could have, uh, the, you know, the months October through January could mean something too for you, Libra. But, um, <clears throat> Uh, there's somebody move. You could be, again, I'm getting moving energy. I don't know if you're moving, if someone else is moving, but there's certainly regarding you and something you love, something may have gotten in the way. Someone or something may have gotten in the way. This can mean too, that something was going awry in your home itself, your physical home. But <clears throat> if, for example, you need to get out of where you're living or you need someone to get out of your place, um, there's sort of like a, um, <clears throat> you know, you're, there's, it's going to, you may, it may have felt like forever till this happened and then it happens and it's fast. Like you may have felt like you're never going to meet somebody or something. And then once you do meet the right person, like maybe you took, you were 37 or something and you hadn't met that one person yet. You were 37, you know, you're all the way to 37, even though 37 is still very young, but you know, I know it's about perspective. And when you're 37, you don't feel like you're super young anymore. A lot of us, um, and at least speaking from the female perspective here myself, but, and if, and when in all actuality you are, you're still young, but anyway, that's not my point. Sorry. Um, my point being is that, um, 
as there's a lot of things in life, it feels as though it took forever, took forever. And then boom, it's right there. And then things move so quickly. Like you don't meet the person and then you meet them and you're married within eight months or something, or you're living together within two months or something like, wow, really fast. Right. So making sure that we are kind of, um, you know, keeping things in check again, even though something may feel great, make sure you're doing your work. If you say, for example, need to find a new place, um, make sure that we're not um, acting as though we're desperate. Like we really, really, really need something. I really need this job. I really need this, this home. I really need this, uh, relationship. You're not actually desperate, right? I mean, hopefully you're not, you know, I can't speak to all of you, but hopefully you're not. And if you really examine things, you'll find out that a lot of the times you're not actually desperate. Like you could stay somewhere a little longer. Maybe you have to stay somewhere temporarily, or you could work somewhere else temporarily. You know, it doesn't, you're not, not going to find that great job right away after this one. Maybe it's going to take a little time, but I'm getting like, take that time, you know, and there are, I think there are some temporary solutions or temporary um, stances or whatever you can take something like, uh, you may feel in your end sort of a, a transitional sort of energy for a little while, but that's good. That's going to get you to that more stability of the queen of pentacles, really solid energy resources. It is what you want. Maybe this is what you had, not a great situation, love wise, home wise, that sort of thing, or even health, who knows? Um, you know, but the towers coming in to sort of, um, demolish that, which wasn't right for you. So you can have this new, uh, healthier, more stable foundation, the right place. You're going to find the right place. You're going to find the right person, the right, the right situation. But, and I'm, it's crazy. It's like, not crazy. It's, um, I'm going to tell you, Libra, I'm kind of stumbling over the words a little bit only because it's not quite as simple. I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, you know, you, we're, we went through something difficult, then the tower came, and now it's going to be great. It's not actually that simple. There's something along the way in here mixed in that's not quite as cut and dry. Like maybe you found the right place, but you have to wait three months, and it's like, how am I going to make that three months work? Or maybe you've realized you're moving on to something new, but there's like a legal obligation you have to something else or someone else. Okay. Do you see what I'm saying? Maybe you have a contract or a lease or something, or maybe, you know, you're married or something, you know, it's just like, there's something else that has to kind of, you're going to have to deal with. Maybe you found Mr. or Mrs. Wright and so to speak, and they're married and they're not divorced yet. So you really, it's like, you want to move forward. You want to move ahead, but there's something that needs to be sort of dealt with. Okay. Or maybe you don't want to break a contract of some kind. Okay. Cause again, this could be anything you love, but uh, you know, if it is a relationship, it could be just like what I said, maybe you were sort of treated as not a priority in a situation. Maybe, um, someone didn't adhere to their end of the deal in any area of your life. They did not hold up their end of the contract or agreement that you had. And it has created quite a tower. Um, in other words, change has to happen now. Like now, you know, change has to happen. Um, oh, and I'm actually just paying attention out of this lighthouse. That's really good. You have a lighthouse right here. So you have this guidance. Are you super connected? You may be super connected to, uh, you know, spirit or you're just, I feel like there's this energy too, where this isn't someone rescuing you, Libra. This is like, this, I see this as uh, both sides of you, a point where you may have felt desperate at one time or like, oh, how am I going to get through this? But then I see you erecting as this lighthouse for not just yourself, maybe for others too. Maybe you're a really good guide, a good source of hope, and healing for others. <clears throat> or you're relying on your own faith, Libra, but it's, you're getting yourself through this. You know, um, it, I'm just now being reminded, this may speak to some of you, maybe a loved one had this saying or told you the story when you're younger, there's something about that, you know, footprints in the sand where, um, I think it is, it's something like, you know, a story of you, if you know it, look it up, footprints in the sand. And there's basically something about how 
when you're thinking you were walking with spirit and you asked for help, <clears throat> um, there were maybe times along the journey where you only saw, you know, one set of footprints in the sand, right? But the, the whole idea is, well, that was the, that was when I carried you is what the response from spirit is. Okay. That's when I carried you. Like, why did you leave me? Why didn't you, I felt so abandoned. Maybe you've coming from a time where you're feeling abandoned by your, your creator, abandoned by, um, you know, the universe or something. And it's like, no, no, we were there all along. You know, you just didn't see the two footprints, it sets of footprints in the sand, because that's when I actually was carrying you and you maybe couldn't see it. I, okay. So Hopefully I didn't botch that too much, but I think you get the gist of it is that the support really is always there. A lot of the times, Libra, you have it within you already. You have way more strength and resilience and uh, are able to rely on yourself more than others realize for sure. And maybe even more than what you realize. So you are carrying yourself through um, maybe with the help of spirit. Okay. Or your ancestors even. I just heard Glenda, Glenda. Um, I'm hearing a name like Robio. Robio, Robio, Robinson, even something along those lines. Hmm. And, and, and Jenny, Jenny, Jennifer, Jen, that's coming in as well. So it's like, I, so it's like sort of like saying you can, you, you can do this. You absolutely can bring yourself through this. Don't compare your life to others because your journey is your own. All right. And remember that many of the clouds casting shadows aren't actually real. Okay. We can, and you will get your wish, but is it really what you want? So be very clear with yourself, with the universe of what you want. And um, let's not let people suck the air out of our spirits, right? Because you're, you're tougher than you think. And, and um, you know, you're, you're going to be surrounded with people with different agendas and, and it's about you knowing, um, and believing in yourself and realizing to Libra that the end of a tough cycle is coming up. You're nearing it. You've, you've already been through it. You've met it. Um, you've completed it. And so like, despite the frustration and the hardships and all that, what you want is coming through. It is coming through. It's being, it's being delivered. And I don't mean just like on a silver platter, you've had to work for this, right? You've worked for this. And because of that, you are getting what you want. We have illusions here, card 43. Be careful of drama and falseness, okay? So make sure we're not being deceived by um, the appearances of people, uh, shiny objects, right? Um, making sure that we're um, kind of keeping ourselves, um, again, balanced here, and we're, we're um, not avoiding a difficult truth by idealizing a situation. Okay. We want to make sure that we're again, being very truth because it's only, it's only fair to ourselves, right? We want to make sure we're being just to ourselves and fair to ourselves. What else do you have Libra? Whoa, whoa, lots of cards <laughs> exploded here. Okay. So we have sentimentality. Someone or you could be having a hard time letting go. I also have uh, spring energy, but I have March 20th to May 5th could be uh, important to you in some way. And um, this is about maybe looking, looking, you know, it's nostalgia. It's like the six of cups, maybe. So there could be strong emotional feelings uh, linked to some memories. And you may be letting go of some of those too, Libra. You have forest, you know, we have, um, you know, maybe you're feeling unsettled and insecure. You can't see what the forest among the trees or the trees among the forest or whatever it is. But <clears throat> again, being patient. And, and, and fully believing in the wisdom of your own decisions, Libra. Yeah, four swords, okay. Rest retreat when needed. All right, let's see what else we have for Libra. Let's ask ourselves another question here. Oh, the hanged one in reverse here, but you know I'm going to read it up right. So this is what situation in your life do you need to look at from a different perspective? Unfortunately, I do get for some that we're not, we're not actually, we actually, we could be idealizing something. We want to make sure that we're we're seeing everything and everyone for exactly what it is. Um, you may be having a hard time doing that, or you may have actually, now you're coming out of that energy where you're now able to see something clearly. <clears throat> Horseshoe here. You do have some good luck on your side, Libra. And for numbers, again, 777. And right before the reading, I saw four sevens. So <clears throat> I guess there's some love messages too. Other love messages. Staying right here, okay. Moving on and letting can't let go. Okay, so 
someone is staying because they're having a hard time letting go, or maybe you're staying because someone is hanging on to you. Let me get a little bit of advice on that. I'd love to get some advice on that. Um, we're getting kind of the whole, the whole, the whole uh, gamut of, of possibilities here, right? We've got staying, moving on, and not being able to let move on. So you have two six of swords, though. You're moving on. I get that. Queen of Swords here. What situation in your life do you need to be logical about? Some of you are maybe wrapped up in the emotions of something right now, and it's how how do you how can you step back in your Queen of Swords energy and just be practical and logical about the situation and be like, yes, I love them, but you know, are they really, um, you know, are they really in my best interest? Is this, is this thing I love, you know, this hobby you love even, is it, is it in your best interest, you know? And, um, and also just, um, just, you know, are you ready to commit some, are, you know, are you really ready to commit to something? That's another question that's coming through is maybe needing for us to ask of ourselves in the universe. I would like to go ahead and get you a, a crystal card. Hmm. Check out your other readings, Libra. I have a career money reading coming up for you, as well as uh, your July reading is out, and I do readings, long form readings, three times a week. Some of them are held outside. Most of them are if it's nice out. Let's see what else. You live in abundance. Imperial topaz. Ooh, lovely. All right. Um, hmm. You have way more than you need. You know what? Are some some of you? I'm just picking up on a message here about being able to go to the grocery store and buy whatever you want is still something that you love and treasure because maybe when you were growing up, you couldn't do that. And just being able to go to the grocery store and or to the farmer's market or wherever Libra, I'm getting this real sort of like um, uh, attitude of abundance and, and appreciation and gratitude with some of you where you're so grateful to just have some of the simpler things in life like being able to choose what you want to eat. What else do we have for Libra? Fill yourself. Morganite. Okay, self-love. This is sort of a, it's going to be sort of a peachy, pinky stone on the paler side generally. Um, it's a great stone for love and conditional love. Um, it's, it is, you know, a self-love kind of stone too. Excellent. And, um, you know, and loving what you, where you are and what you're creating, just, you know, realizing that um, love comes in many forms and self-love is number one here for that. Okay. Anything else here? Getting to the heart of the matter. You're getting to the heart of the matter of something, Libra. But again, it's like kind of, um, it's this interesting combination of being direct, but not forceful being, um, you know, um, like expressing yourself clearly, but in a way that, you know, will get the message across you're not trying to appease everybody, but it's like, you're just trying to keep things like almost like you're trying to maintain a working relationship maybe with somebody, or you're trying to just get through this stage, you know, you're moving on to the next or something. It's not always going to be like this. And you're just trying to do what you can to keep yourself calm. And, and, um, but you're not like placating others, you know, you're not like bending over backwards anymore or anything like that. I feel like you're, you're focusing on what's best for you. But in the meantime, it's almost like you just don't have the energy for any drama or any sort of unnecessary um, conflict. Green fluoride. Yes. One of my favorites is this mine. This is about your inner wisdom Libra too. All right. And making a change if you need to make a change. Green fluoride is the stone of wisdom. It can also be really good for matters of the heart. It can be a good stone for prosperity as well. It comes in a variety of colors. Um, you could usually get a piece of rainbow moonstone, which has a variety of colors in it. Um, you know, it really does come in like basically every color fluorite. So um, it's a really good stone for um, really kind of uh, getting in tune with your own wisdom, I find. I find it's good for that. What else do we have for Libra? Let me get you um, some power animal cards and a guardian angel card. We'll see what else, anything else coming through. Maybe a message from the universe too. Mm -hmm. Okay. You have Libra, a hair. So trust in your ability to outpace obstacles, whether they're physical or mental. You have dolphin coming through. I heard Katie just now. 
and you have um, take time out to have fun. Just go with the flow if you can, uh, as much as you can, right? And then on this, we have Pelican. I think you just had this one. This is opening your heart to the blessings of life and welcoming the flow of prosperity with gratitude. Yeah. Yeah. We can actually block our own abundance by not being grateful for what we already do have. Again, that's why we don't want to live in a mindset of desperation or scarcity. Like I must, I have to, I have to. That puts pressure on the universe, pressure on us, pressure on the situation. And um, and we're, we're almost surely to be disappointed if we put that much tension and pressure on something. Oh, one more wants to come out. We want to come from an attitude of, oh, I'm making room for this wonderful thing or person coming in and I have room for it, but I'm not desperate. I'm grateful for all I do have. And you have gorilla. Strength is not physical. It's the power of gentleness and wisdom right on top of that stone of wisdom, green fluorite. Yeah. Again, there's something just right from the very beginning, this divine presence, you're keeping kind of like things calm, but, uh, you're still strong. It's a silent strength almost, but, um, not having to be totally silent. That's not what I'm talking about. Okay. So just, you know, but again, pay attention to details. Um, make sure you're investing your time and efforts into what uh, charges you um, and makes you feel, you know, energized and just, just, um, you know, if any way you can find freedom, you know, in whatever it is you're doing and your journey and your craft. Okay. Um, and let me get, what did I say? Oh, you, a message from the universe. We'll do that as well. If you enjoy these readings, please consider liking, subscribing, commenting. It's all free and it does help the channel. And it lets, it just really, it helps the channel because it lets me know what you enjoy. So then I know to make more of that. You're going to be celebrating something very soon. You'll be so full of joy and happiness. It will almost seem out of this world. How suddenly, did I not say this? Did it come in fast, even though it feels like you waited forever? Okay. So it all happens. Okay. How suddenly it all happens. Be ready. Expect it. It's happening. Mm hmm. Yeah. So uh, relationships wise, Libra in relationships, the biggest thing you should look for right now is consistency. Every time you forgive someone who's not being consistent with you, or if they're consistently treating you bad, Libra, you're giving them permission to hurt you again. So realize that you deserve better. You deserve the best and prioritize self healing right now, Libra. Um, put your needs above others for once. Okay. It's time to focus on you self-healing. It's going to take time, a lot of self-love. I had self-love coming through prior, right? We just said that with Morganite and things, but remember open wounds don't heal into scars overnight. Take the time you need in order to feel happier and healthier within yourself. There is no rush, right? Life's a journey, not a destination, right? We've heard that. And one more for Libra. I'm going to get you a guardian angel card. We'll close out this reading. Thank you to all my regular subscribers. Those of you who like videos, comment, share. I appreciate that. We did reach a milestone of 5,000 subscribers recently. So I appreciate you for all of that. I couldn't have done it without my subscribers, literally. So <laughs> thank you. Libra. No fear. Notice when fear, doubt, and unrest creep in. Notice when you ensnare your soul in low frequencies. Draw your focus inward and upward. Meet me there and declare your freedom once again. Beautiful. And one more. Light in the dark. You came here to be a light in the darkness during a challenging and tumultuous time for the planet. Don't forget to embrace your divinity as a luminous being. Remember that lighthouse, right? Do not give up. You are needed. Even if you don't want to be needed by others, you, you need you, right? So take care of yourself. Take care of you. Do what you can, Libra, as hard as it can be for some of us Libras, to keep that balance in life. Continue to focus on what matters to you, what fuels you, in the right direction, you know, and just realize that, you know, you do, you do have something to celebrate that is in fact coming in. Thanks Libra. Thanks for tuning in. Please check out your other readings and have a great week.